Greetings, radio fans. Well, here we are. It's the first week of December, and it is now high season for these abominations, the auto-cycling cheap Chinese Christmas lights. Uh, I've got one here that has this little box with combination waves, sequential chasing flash, all these little options that are managed by a cheap controller. And I want to demonstrate how this wreaks havoc on radio reception. So I'm going to start my radio. I have it on a AM sports talk station, so that should avoid any any YouTube uh, strikes. So let's go ahead and get this radio started. Our traffic is in court, right? Go. Play Jordan Love. If Jordan Love turns out not to be your guy, well, you at least get the consolation of having a okay, top 10 pick. Okay, 25 right decibels. And, and what I'm going to do now, I'm going to drop the volume slightly because that is rather loud. There we go. And I will go ahead and turn on those Christmas lights. Good grief. Do you hear that? So I'm going to just cycle through some of the options. And you can hear the havoc that it's wreaking. Well, that... Damn, that sounds like a sci-fi sound effect. Oh, listen to that. You can hear it amping up. Oh, that's my favorite. That's got to be my favorite. And we see, we're, again, we're on the AM. We've totally blanked the sports radio talk. I'm going to cycle through the bands. Um, you can see it's doing exactly the same on the short waves. Aviation band and weather band, the VHF band, seem to be unaffected. Uh, also with VHF broadcast, the FM band, band seem to be okay. But my goodness, we just have no help on the AM bands. So, there we go, I turn it off and the issue goes away. It resolves almost immediately. Let's go ahead and shut that off. So just a, a little reminder that, in, and this may not be new to many of you, you may be aware of this phenomenon. I just wanted to provide a, a brief demonstration of just how bad it can be. Yes, it is true. I've got my radio receiver right here within inches of, of the receiver, but let's go ahead and do this demo one more time. Turn this on. And I'm going to give you a, a wide view of my, my messy workshop. What you can see is I retreat. It does seem to get a little bit better. If I get about a meter or so away. But I have noticed the same issues, particularly in, in, in shortwave. Uh, when I've been several yards, several meters away, maybe three stories, which was, you know, probably, what, uh, 12 meters higher than the my Christmas tree. I had to re completely reject this string of lights from my Christmas tree because it's wreaking all kinds of havoc. Uh, one final note, uh, usually you'll at this point in the video, you'll hear an appeal to hit like and subscribe. I don't really care if you do that. That makes me no difference. But it may, I, I think you would get a kick out of joining in, in the HF zone Discord, hfzone.org, is uh, the address for a radio community that I am a part of that I think you will find a lot of useful information, camaraderie, and just a good community and environment. Uh, I post these videos through the hfzone.org site. Uh, you will find me through there. I also post to Mastodon. I'm moving away from Twitter. But find us in these places, and I will be posting more demonstrations like this of different vagaries of the radio hobby, uh, antenna tests, uh, uh, band scans, things of that nature. All right, it's been a pleasure. I will see you the next time.